came about a, a couple years ago, we created this as a component of Real Time Live, which is all about rendering in real time and interaction in real time. And thus virtual and augmented reality was a perfect fit with the Real Time Live program. We added this contest on top of Real Time Live to really take advantage of all everything that's been happening in the industry of virtual reality over the last couple of years. So this year we had 48 submissions, which is about the same number as last year, but it was interesting to see the trends of how they were a little bit different. They were more sophisticated, there were more walk around virtual reality, augmented reality systems, and there was also very much mixed reality, which is a combination of, of mixing the augmented reality experience with the virtual reality experience and bringing them together into a single experience. Right now, virtual reality entertainment is huge. However, in the future, in some of the, a lot of the submissions we've seen, we've seen these trends moving beyond entertainment. The education, it can be telepresence, it could be corporate training. Virtual reality is becoming more social, where you're in a virtual reality environment with other users that might be in another part of the world, which will lead to telepresence applications, it will lead to uh, training applications, it will lead to all different aspects of everything in our lives. It's not just about a single vertical within the industry. As far as consumer virtual reality goes, a lot of it has been about putting your eyes into the virtual environment, but virtual and augmented reality can be so much more than vision. So bringing the entire body into virtual reality so that you can see your own, embody yourself within the experience, and so that you can interact with the environment with your hands, for example, to be able to reach out and touch things and to manipulate objects within that world. Things are really moving towards that direction, and I see that just happening more and more within the next year. So last year we had three amazing finalists in the Immersive Realities Contest, and two of those finalists have actually uh, spun off ventures. They've started companies within that space. Those startups are happening all over, not just here at Seagraph, but every week you hear about a new startup, you hear about someone that's got funded, you hear about something that you know I would think would be two or three years out, yet it's starting to happen today. It's just happening at an extraordinary rate. Now is the time for augmented reality and virtual reality. It's no longer a matter of if it will happen, it's a matter of when it will happen. Will this go mainstream in six months? Will it be three years? I don't know when it will be there, but I'm super excited whenever it happens. Here at Seagraph, we're ready for it.